We were absolutely honoured to join JB as he made his final journey, you could say, to his beloved car 22. I'm... Yeah. You can see the beautiful images there as he's hugging his mother, kissing his girlfriend. And that's great to be clapped out of the driver room. Just talking to Mark, the uh, emotions that he would be feeling. You've done this twice, just most recently from your sports car career. Yeah, uh, look, this is, it's really, really tough because you know that uh, it, it is time. I think JB tactically, even mentally, we've heard, we've heard him change in the last three months about this is the right decision for him. So he's accepting that now. Emotion is going through the people that have been in his corner. Uh, and trust me, I, I sent him a little WhatsApp this morning. I said, mate, putting your helmet on for the last time and getting strapped into the car for the last time, that's when, for me, it'll really, really hit him. So I think he's got his sunglasses on there and the tissues won't be far off, mate. Yeah, it is. Uh, that, it, I didn't know there had too many people in the team, actually, when you look at them all lined up there. But this, this is a very fitting tribute to a man that has uh, won his world title. He's banked that and uh, walks to the garage for the very last time. I think that where it will really hit him, is, of course, is uh, once he's uh, finally left alone on the grid and everyone leaves, and that's down to him. That's down to him. He'll want to represent the team in the best way he possibly can and uh, get to the checkered flag, of course. No guarantee yeah. that that can happen. I think he just reminded the team, can they go and make sure the car's ready? Because uh, he was uh, a bit nervous. <laughs> the garage there so um there is a nice a nice touch there the garage to himself and uh sensational